Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2019 Subaru Impreza and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material to black out the entire front panel of this vehicle. Link for the product will be provided below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation for the front panel, we need to make sure we prep the entire front grill. So in order to prep it, all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to remove any contaminants that the panel you're going to work on is clean. So make sure you remove any contaminants and then once you're done prepping it, make sure that everything's completely dry, that way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the panel. So we're going to start with the piece that covers this section of the panel first. So with this one, all we need to do is just align it on this section. Make sure you align it and just cover the chrome. Once it's aligned, you could give yourself a little bit more material just to make sure you cover the chrome on the edge here. Once this is aligned, just lift the film and just follow the design and use the top half as the guide in order to align the rest of the film. So you should reach it up to here. Once you place the film, you're going to grab your squeegee and start securing the entire panel. Make sure to tack it down slowly. Squeegee at an angle that we were able to remove all of the air that's trapped underneath the film. And then secure the middle section. You can start by applying a little bit of heat that way the film starts sitting on this section here. But just first tack it down with your squeegee. And once this is tacked down, then help it wrap underneath here. You can always lift it to realign it and readjust the film and then just apply heat to help it sit underneath the panel and also between this this curve here so apply heat and then make sure to squeegee out all of the air that way it sits flat inside this curve and then bring the film down inside you can always lift the film so that we were able to release the air that's trapped in this middle section once you remove all the air, then we're going to tack it down slowly to cover the lower section of the panel. You can apply heat and just slowly tack it down with your finger. Okay, once you finish applying heat, we could trim off any extra material that we have. So we have a little bit here and some here. Just trim it off and then we should be good. So enter your blade right in the middle. There's a small cutout where you could enter your blade. So carefully enter your blade and just trim off the excess material. And wherever else you see excess material, just insert the blade and trim it off. And the same steps that were done for this piece, you would rinse and repeat it to the other section and then you can move on to the next installation. Okay, so for the bottom piece, all we need to do is just make sure we align it from one curve. So you're going to notice where you have the film that there's a curved design on each section of the film. So you could align it from either side, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as wherever you start, you align it and then you just use the top half of the panel as the guide to align the rest of the film. So lift it carefully. So just align it and adjust it as you go. You can lift it in case you want to realign it. Follow the design as you go until you reach it to the other end. Okay, and that should be good. And now you just grab your squeegee, start tacking down the film. Make sure to remove all of the air, if there's any. With this one, you could tuck in the material underneath the grill. There's a small gap to insert any excess material. So you could just tuck it in. And then whatever is still left over, then you could just trim off. And then once you finish tacking down the top, for the lower section, just bring it down with your finger like this and like that. That's pretty much it. And then just help it tack down around the curve. If you're having trouble tacking it down, then just lift the film carefully, readjust it, and then apply a little bit of heat. And then you could apply heat around the curve. That way the film starts tacking down. And then just follow through with the rest of the installation until you reach to the other end. Once 
Once you finish taking down the film, grab your blade and trim off any excess material. Like I mentioned, there is a gap in between the panel they're working on and the grill. Once you trim off the excess material, just lift it carefully and remove what we don't need. And then just look and inspect throughout the entire panel. If there's any excess material, trim it off. And once you're done, we'll move on to the top piece. Okay, so for the top piece, it's almost similar when it comes to installation that we did for this bottom piece. Just make sure you align it wherever you left off. So place the film and it should be aligned right where we left off. You can meet it right on the edge or you could overlap it just a little bit and then just follow the design of the panel. Make sure you're covering the chrome and you should be good. Just lift and align it until you reach to the other end. Just like that. Like I mentioned, if you need to fix it, to realign it, you can. Just lift it carefully. As long as you're covering the chrome, you should be good. Start by squeegeeing the top, since it is the flat area to work with, and then work your way downward. So around the curve, you can apply a little bit of heat. That way we're able to tack down the film and also help remove any fingers. So for example here, apply a little bit of heat, use your finger to tack it down, go side to side, and that should work in order to tack down the film. Okay, once you finish applying the entire film, you would just go ahead and start removing any excess material that you do have. And then once you finish trimming off the excess material, we will move on to the last step, which is post heating the entire pan. So once you finish with the entire installation for the front panel, the last thing to do is to post heat the entire film. So all you need is your heat gun and make sure you apply heat throughout the entire section that we installed the film to the panel. Make sure to help any film that's still lifting, tack it back down by applying heat. And then just take your time when you're doing this step. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Forward Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2019 Subaru Impreza. We hope that the video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.